we are so excited to host the We Energies Foundation Day. Uh, we're so grateful to the We Energies Foundation uh, for their support of our mission, and most importantly, for their support of Milwaukee's youth. Um, thank you to Mayor Johnson and to County Executive Crawley, and of course to Danielle Bly from We Energies for joining us here today. Um, we have had a long-standing partnership with uh, the We Energies Foundation, and we're thrilled to have people like Beth Straka and Thelma Sias as part of our board of directors. Um, this foundation truly has an immeasurable and incredible impact on our community. Um, since 2019, the We Energies Foundation has been our presenting sponsor for our uh, S'mores fundraiser at Camp Whitka Mason. And as you know, um, it's a great opportunity for kiddos from the city to get out to camp uh, and have an experience that really does change their lives. So we're very grateful for their sponsorship. In addition, I'd like to share that the We Energies Foundation has contributed over $500,000 to the Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater Milwaukee over the past five years. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, it's the beginning of what e uh, the We Energies Foundation does, not just for the clubs, but for the community at large. And so to speak a bit more about that and to talk a bit more about the We Energies Foundation Day, I'd like to introduce uh, our mayor, Cavalier Johnson. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Kathy. It's really my pleasure to be here uh, on behalf of uh, the city to honor the We Energies uh, Foundation for so many, so many years uh, of service helping uh, communities uh, and neighborhoods and organizations here in the city of Milwaukee. Uh, as Kathy just mentioned, uh, they've been a strong partner with the Boys and Girls Club uh, here. And you know, I'm proud as mayor to, to say that we've got the largest Boys and Girls Club Association in the United States uh, right here. Uh, and that's in part because of the support that uh, this organization receives uh, from the We Energies uh, Foundation. I mean, I can tell you uh, as well, uh, before I was uh, an elected official, before I was uh, the mayor, before I was council president, before I was a, uh, an alderman serving on our city council, uh, I worked in one of our business improvement districts uh, over uh, on the uh, over on North Avenue, North Avenue Gateway District, um, and as a young professional uh, trying to make a mark uh, and serve people uh, in uh, my neighborhood, uh, I relied on the We Energies Foundation to help support uh, some of the back to school efforts uh, that we put on uh, in the neighborhood. So uh, well before uh, I had the opportunity to present a proclamation honoring uh, the We Energies Foundation, uh, me and my organization were recipients uh, from some of the grants uh, and support that this organization provides uh, generally across the city of Milwaukee and elsewhere in the state of Wisconsin too. So uh, as mayor now in this capacity, I have the, the privilege, the pleasure and the honor uh, to uh, mark the day with the mayor proclamation. So I'll read it if you'll indulge me for just a moment. It reads, Office of the Mayor, City of Milwaukee Proclamation, whereas the City of Milwaukee proudly joins family, friends, and community members in recognizing the We Energies Foundation on Thursday, February 22nd, 2024. And whereas the We Energy Foundation was established by We Energies in 1982 to work with local nonprofits to build a brighter future for all throughout Milwaukee and southeastern Wisconsin. And whereas the We Energies Foundation has funded thousands of charities supporting initiatives for community and neighborhood development, health and human services, uh, art and culture, as well as ed education and the environment since its founding. And whereas the We Energies Foundation is celebrating the remarkable milestone of donating $50 million uh, in five years to nonprofits across the city of Milwaukee and the state of Wisconsin, and whereas the city of Milwaukee commends the We Energies Foundation for receiving this impressive, or achieving rather, this impressive milestone their dedication to supporting local nonprofits and recognizes its outstanding contributions to our community. And now, therefore, I, Cavalier Johnson, Mayor of the City of Milwaukee, do hereby proclaim Thursday, February 22nd, 2024, to be We Energies Foundation Day throughout the entire city of Milwaukee. So congratulations, We Energies Foundation. And um, uh, it's not just a, a celebration from the city of Milwaukee's uh, perspective. Again, uh, the We Energies Foundation has been a partner to so many organizations uh, in the city and in southeastern Wisconsin, including those uh, in Milwaukee County as well. And so at this time, um, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, to you uh, our Milwaukee County Executive, my friend, David Crowley. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for that introduction, Mayor. And it's a great time to be in Sherman Park neighborhood, my old stomping grounds. And so as the mayor noted, it is great to be here today to highlight the incredible investments that we have seen coming from the We Energies Foundation and how they continue to deliver not just 
of programs and services like the one we're in today with the Boys and Girls Club, but many different nonprofit organizations uh, throughout Milwaukee County. And so many of you have heard me talk about our vision for Milwaukee County, that by achieving racial equity, we can become uh, the healthiest county in the state of Wisconsin. And one way to really ensure that we are a healthy community is by investing in our communities. And I'm pleased to say that we not only have the Boys and Girls Club, but with the We Energies Foundation have been an incredible partner in making these investments. Not only do they help to keep our lights on every single day here in the Milwaukee County area and throughout southeastern Wisconsin, but they also make sure to support many different families, individuals, and our young people all throughout Milwaukee County. And I just have to say, we truly appreciate the fact that they have been uh, funding the social and emotional development programming that is offered uh, by the Boys and Girls Clubs at all of the different locations. So I truly want to say appreciate that. And, and, and just, just want to say that you know, when we think about these types of investments, when we think about these types of corporate citizens, you know, it is, it is e extremely powerful to see these types of investments. But I just want to say that this is also a call to other communities, to other businesses out there that we need you to partner with our nonprofit organizations to help propel not just our young people, but our families, our, our older adults, and our entire communities forward. And so just like the mayor, I do have an executive proclamation. I'm not going to read everything, uh, but I will start off with, Whereas Milwaukee County proudly joins staff and community members in recognizing We Energy's Foundation Day on February 22nd, 2024, the We Energy's uh, Foundation was established by We Energy's in 1982 with the goal of working alongside local nonprofits to build a brighter future uh, for all. And whereas since its founding, We Energy's Foundation has funded thousands of charities supporting initiatives for community and neighborhood development, health and human service, arts and culture, education and the environment, among other worthwhile causes. And whereas Milwaukee County commends the We Energies Foundations for reaching this impressive milestone, as well as its dedication to supporting local nonprofits to bettering our communities. Now, therefore, I, David Crowley, County Executive of Milwaukee County, do hereby proclaim February 22, uh, February 22nd, uh, 2024, to be We Energies Foundation Day all across Milwaukee County in celebration of the many positive contributions the foundation has made all throughout the Milwaukee County community. And it will, we, we can't just, just give them their flowers without allowing them to also uh, accept these awards. And so I just want to say not only again thank you, but I really appreciate Danielle and all that she does in this community uh, to not only p help people understand of who we energies are, who we energies is, but how they are going to continue to make investments uh, in the Milwaukee County area. So, without further ado, let's uh, give a round of applause to Diane, Danielle Bly. Thank you so much, Mayor Johnson, County Executive Crowley. Good morning, I'm Danielle Bly, Vice President, Supplier Diversity at We Energies, and a proud member of the We Energies Foundation Board of Directors. I want to offer our heartfelt thanks to our longtime partners, the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Milwaukee for hosting this celebration today, um, and Mayor Johnson, County Executive Crowley for declaring it We Energies Foundation Day. Right. That is an honor, right? That is so cool. <laughs> I've never had a day, but I worked there 24 <laughs> years today. I love that. Um, the We Energies Foundation has been making a difference in the communities we serve for more than 40 years now. In my time on the foundation board, I have had the privilege of hearing firsthand about the impacts um, of the nonprofits we fund, what the impacts they're having, not only here in Milwaukee County, but also statewide across the state. In many cases, our donations are more than just a one-time commitment. We strive to develop ongoing relationships with the nonprofits we support, and that includes the Boys and Girls Clubs, which we have proudly supported for decades. Thanks to my friend Kathy Thornton Bias, I've been able to support personally. I've done snack bags for the Boys and Girls Clubs so that when they get here after school, I know my kids are hungry when they come <laughs> home, right? To be able to do that and, you know, firsthand have that impact. Thank you for that. Those are the type of relationships that helps us get to the heart of what our neighbors need in their communities. Our goal at We Energies has always been to create a brighter future. And with the help of our partners at the city and at the county um, and thousands of nonprofits statewide, we believe we're doing just that. 
one donation at a time. Before we go, we have a little surprise for our friends at the Boys and Girls Clubs, and nobody knew about this. <laughs> In celebration of We Energy's Foundation Day, we are excited to donate an additional $15,000 to the clubs this year. Ooh. This brings our commitment to the organization to $125,000 $125, in 2024. Thank you very, very much. And thank you all for We Energies Foundation Day. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll turn it back over to Kathy. I don't know that we were getting an award today, but I feel like, I feel like you caught me off guard, Danielle, which you know I do not like. Um, we were just uh, touring with uh, with Danielle Bly and with County Executive uh, Crawley. I know the mayor has seen this. You know, our facility, we've been in this community for decades. Uh, we call Sherman Park home. We love this community. And the staff that work at the Mary Ryan Boys and Girls Club, many of us staff that work at uh, Boys and Girls Club attended, some or who are here today. We have grand plans for this neighborhood, for this facility, and, and for the future of our kiddos. And so this will go towards um, a, a new game room, which Danielle was uh, touring, had no idea what you were doing. Um, but it's going to uh, really refresh this location and bring a modernization to uh, our program offerings that we believe our kiddos are going to absolutely love. So I'll challenge you to carpet ball, all <laughs> four of you, inside joke, uh, uh, once the uh, renovations happen. But thank you, my immense and deep oh, thanks. Pleasure.